Have you ever wondered what cataracts are and how they affect vision? If so, you're not alone. Cataracts are one of the most common eye problems in the world. According to the National Eye Institute, more than half of all Americans will have a cataract or have had cataract surgery by age 80. But what exactly is a cataract? What causes it? And how can you prevent or treat it? In this video, we'll answer all these questions and more. So, let's get started. Let's first start with what is a cataract? A cataract is a clouding of the lens of your eye. The lens is the clear part of your eye that helps focus light on the retina, the back part of your eye that senses light and sends signals to your brain. The lens also helps you see things clearly at different distances. When you have a cataract, your lens becomes cloudy and less clear. This makes it harder for light to pass through and reach your retina. As a result, your vision becomes blurry, dim, or distorted. You may also have trouble seeing at night, seeing colors, or seeing details. Cataracts usually develop slowly over time. You may not notice any changes in your vision at first, but as the cataract grows bigger and cloudier, it affects more of your lens and your vision. Now, you may be wondering, what causes cataracts? Well, cataracts are mostly caused by aging. As you get older, the proteins and fibers in your lens start to break down and clump together. This causes the lens to become cloudy and less flexible. Other factors that can increase your risk of developing cataracts include Number 1. Having certain medical conditions, such as diabetes, high blood pressure, or obesity. Number 2. Having a family history of cataracts. Number 3. Having an eye injury or surgery. Number 4. Being exposed to sunlight or radiation. Number 5. Smoking or drinking alcohol. Number 6 taking certain medications such as steroids. So, what are the symptoms of cataracts? Well, the symptoms of cataracts may vary depending on the type, size, and location of the cataract. But some common symptoms include clouded, blurred, or dim vision, trouble seeing at night or in low light conditions, sensitivity to light and glare, seeing halos around lights, needing brighter light for reading or other activities, Frequent changes in your eyeglass or contact lens prescription, fading or yellowing of colors, and double vision in one eye. So, how are cataracts diagnosed? To diagnose cataracts, your eye doctor will ask you about your medical history and symptoms. They will also perform a comprehensive eye exam to check your vision and the health of your eyes. Some of the tests that your eye doctor may do include Number 1. Vision Test this test measures how well you can see letters on an eye chart at different distances. Number two, eye structure exam. This exam uses a special microscope called a slit lamp to look at the front parts of your eye, including your lens. Number three, retinal exam. This exam uses eye drops to dilate or widen your pupils and a device called an ophthalmoscope to look at the back parts of your eye, including your retina. Number four, fluid pressure test. This test measures the pressure inside your eye using a device called a tonometer. Before we continue, if you have been finding the video helpful so far, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. Now, how are cataracts treated? The only effective treatment for cataracts is surgery. Surgery involves removing the cloudy lens and replacing it with an artificial lens called an intraocular lens. This intraocular lens becomes a permanent part of your eye and helps you see clearly. Cataract surgery is usually done as an outpatient procedure under local anesthesia. It is generally safe and has a high success rate, and most people notice an improvement in their vision soon after surgery. However, cataract surgery is not for everyone. Some people may have other eye conditions or medical problems that make surgery risky or ineffective. Some people may not be bothered by their cataracts or may prefer to use glasses or other aids to cope with their vision loss. That's why it's important to talk to your eye doctor about whether surgery is right for you. Your eye doctor will consider your symptoms, vision goals, overall health, and personal preferences when recommending surgery. 
If you choose not to have surgery right away, your eye doctor will monitor your cataracts regularly and advise you on how to manage them with glasses, contact lenses, magnifiers, or other devices. So, as you can see, cataracts are no fun, right? They can even cause blindness if you don't treat them. But don't worry, there are some things you can do to prevent them or slow them down. Here are some tips. Number one, wear sunglasses when you go out in the sun. The sun's rays can damage your eyes and cause cataracts. Look for sunglasses that block 100% of UVA and UVB rays. A hat with a brim can also help. Number two, quit smoking if you can. Smoking is bad for your eyes and your health in general. It can increase your risk of cataracts by two to three times. If you need help quitting, talk to your doctor or check out some online resources. Number three, eat a balanced diet with lots of fruits and veggies. Some nutrients like vitamin C, vitamin E, and beta carotene can help protect your eyes from free radicals, which are harmful molecules that can cause cataracts. Try to eat foods like oranges, carrots, spinach, and mangoes. You can also take supplements, but food is better. Number four, limit your alcohol intake. Drinking too much alcohol can also increase your risk of cataracts. Try to stick to one or two drinks a day at most. If you drink wine, choose red over white, as it has more antioxidants. Number five, get regular eye checkups. The best way to prevent cataracts is to catch them early and treat them before they get worse. Your eye doctor can examine your eyes and tell you if you have any signs of cataracts or other eye problems. You should get your eyes checked at least once every two years if you're over 65. Now let's talk about some myths about cataracts. There are many misconceptions about cataracts that can confuse or mislead people. Here are some of the most common ones and the facts behind them. Myth number one. Cataracts only affect older people. Cataracts can affect people of any age, even newborns. Cataracts are more common in older people because they are related to aging, but they can also be caused by other factors, such as eye trauma, medications, or diseases. Myth number two. Cataracts are growths on the eyes. Cataracts are not growths. They are changes in the lens of the eye. Cataracts occur when the protein cells in the lens start to clump together and deteriorate, resulting in cloudiness. There is nothing growing on or in the eye. Myth number three. Cataract symptoms can be reversed by making lifestyle changes. There is no way to reverse cataracts once they form. Lifestyle changes, such as wearing sunglasses, eating healthy foods and quitting smoking, may help prevent or delay cataracts, but they cannot cure them. The only way to treat cataracts is by surgery. Myth number four, cataracts can recur after surgery. Cataracts cannot recur after surgery because the natural lens is removed and replaced with an artificial one. However, some people may experience a condition called posterior capsule opacification, which occurs when the thin membrane behind the interocular lens becomes cloudy. This can cause similar symptoms as cataracts, but it can be easily treated with a laser procedure. So these were some common myths about cataracts now. We want to hear from you. Do you or someone you know have cataracts? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching.